Do you want to know how email marketing can add tens of thousands of dollars to your e-commerce store revenue on autopilot practically for free? I'm going to show you that strategy in a minute and stick around to the end because we're going to go through a simple strategy to take all of this email marketing you're doing and use it in Facebook ads to retarget even when iOS 14 tries to take it away from us. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button so more people can see this video and subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the community. I respond to as many comments as I can personally. You're very important to me. You really, really are. Okay, so let's jump into this. What we use here at Guide Social is Klaviyo. So Klaviyo is by far the best e-commerce marketing software. We're not an affiliate or anything like that. We are a Klaviyo partner, and that's because they are just so good at locking in relationships with e-commerce platforms like Shopify that they talk to each other seamlessly. And since they talk to each other so well, it's really easy to set up flows, audiences, and specific segments of people that come to your site to use them in different ways and target them based on their specific behavior. This is extremely, extremely important right now because it's getting harder and harder to retarget on Facebook ads, Google ads, all of these platforms because of the privacy issues that are now in place. And since we can't use the pixel as much, we need to start collecting that first party data. We need to get people's email addresses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you over my shoulder here and we're gonna go into Klaviyo and I'm gonna take you through the simple flows, just a few simple flows that every e-commerce store should have in place, how to optimize them and how they can make you money on autopilot. Let's go over my shoulder. Okay, so now let's first get all out there uh, what exactly we want to accomplish, what these major flows are. So the biggest flows are, and some of them are going to be familiar to you, and some of them may not if you haven't done a lot of email marketing. But obviously, you need an abandoned cart flow. And remember, what I'm talking about here is a flow. So you're gonna to wanna to have about three emails in this flow to be able to pick up people that have abandoned their cart. Remember, 70% of e-commerce carts go abandoned. So you need to find a way to pick them up. Um, and one of the ways is through text. I highly recommend looking into that, but the biggest way is through email. You should have a nice little recovery right here. And you wanna set up about a three email flow. That three email flow should be plastered with social proof and have some sort of expiration linked to it. You know, your card is going to expire, for example, is the most typical example. The other one is the welcome series. This actually can make you a ton of money and I would argue it's the most important series that you can have running on your online store. The welcome series is you go to a store, you see a pop-up and whatever it is, it's a discount, it's a giveaway, whatever it may be, there's some sort of opt-in there so that we can collect emails. The reason this is so important is because the only way we're gonna get this person's email otherwise to be able to market to them on email, Facebook, whatever it may be, is if they go to add something to their cart, put in their email, get to initiate checkout, and then either buy or they purchase. And then we have their email address. Thing is, if we don't have them anywhere up to that journey, we're getting into a sticky spot. And of course, with the privacy policies around third-party cookies now, it's harder and harder to just target people that go to the site and leave. The welcome series gets around that by allowing you to capture those emails and then put them into a sequence. But then the cool thing is Clavio can track them based on their store engagement after they get that email. So once you get that email, Clavio then tracks them throughout your site and allows you to actually target them based on certain pages they visited on the site or actions that they took. Super cool. So this can be somewhere in the three to five uh, email range. Okay, so then we have the Browse Abandonment series. I love this series. This is the series that a lot of people do not think of. Abandonment. So the Browse Abandonment series plays off of the Welcome series. So as I said, if you get people's email as soon as they come to your site, that pop-up comes up, then 
Clavio or whoever you're using, um, some of them do this as well. Clavio is the best at it, especially with Shopify. It knows what pages they visited and it knows if they visited a product page. So if someone opts in on your homepage to the welcome series and then they go to a product page, they can be put into a very specific flow just for people who went to a product page but did not visit. And then you can give them a very specific offer. You actually wanna to try to really link up your marketing strategies with these series. So you could have a different offer for the welcome series, a different offer for the abandoned cart flow, a different offer for the browse abandonment flow, and just have all of these things set up so that you're giving people different offers at different times. And if you use Clavio's smart sending feature, you can actually change the sequence that they're in to make sure that you're not doubling up. So if somebody puts in their email on the welcome series, then goes to a product page, doesn't buy, they're gonna go into the browse abandonment series. But if you turn on smart sending, you'll make sure that it doesn't email anyone that's been emailed already in the last 16 hours or whatever it is. You, you can set it, I think 16 might be the default. But that would mean that they're not gonna get the welcome series emails, they would get the browse abandonment series emails, which is good because the browse abandonment uh, series is actually targeted more to the middle of funnel, right? So this is a cold audience here, if we just have our funnel. This is our cold audience here in the welcome series. And so we're giving them an offer and an introduction. We're sort of easing them in very much into the brand. In the browse abandonment series, we're actually moving people down the funnel a little bit more. We're selling a little bit harder. They know our brand. They've already looked at the product page. So I can actually serve them better, more relevant email content. So I would rather have people in the browse abandonment series than the welcome series if I have to choose between the two. And hopefully they flow into each other. So they go to the welcome series, we get them to click on some links to go to some product pages, and then they can, we can get them into the browse abandonment series, if that makes sense. So it really, really helps to be able to serve people the perfect messaging at the perfect time, which is the golden rule of marketing. Okay, so number four, um, you wanna make sure to also have a win back series. This is why it's so important to have multiple SKUs in your store. If you have a store that just has one product or two products, you're putting yourself at a real disadvantage. If you have multiple products in your store, you can cross sell extremely well. And we'll get to in number five with the five key email series here, you'll see that that comes up even more. In the Wimback series, you wanna be able to get them back. So if you have a consumable product that people are going to buy over and over again, you want to target people that haven't engaged in a while or they haven't bought in a while and get them back in as an active subscriber to the email list, active purchaser, active person in your store. That's the cool thing about this is it's not email in a vacuum. We're not just trying to get them to re-engage and tracking their re-engagement within the email series and within your CRM, we're actually getting their engagement and re-engagement within your store, which leads to buying behavior. So the Wimback series is super crucial. And then five is the post-purchase series. A lot of people take this for granted because we just say, okay, well we bought and it's over. Like, you know, that's the point of the funnel is they've converted and now that they've converted, it's like, ah, my job's over, we're done. <laughs> it's not, it's not. You always want to be boosting the lifetime value of people that come into your store. You want them to spend a lot of money on you over time. Like I always say, Starbucks doesn't make any money from you from that first cup of coffee. They make money off of you after you buy coffee every day for 10 years and you're worth 20 grand in revenue to them over time. It's the same thing in your store. That's why you need to have multiple SKUs. So what you're gonna wanna do here as you move people through the post-purchase sequence, you're thanking them, you're inviting them to the community, and then you're moving them into a cross-sell so that you can start selling them more products. And it's really, really important to have this stuff in place because as ad costs rise, you need to be squeaking more and more and more revenue out of each customer that comes to your store. Every piece of traffic is valuable and you need to treat it like such. So let's take a look at what this looks like in Clavio. Okay, here we are in Clavio and uh, I'm just walking you through. We, we actually don't have all of these campaigns set up because we don't have, um, we're actually building an online store, but we don't have it all built out yet. Um, so let me minimize my video here. 
So this is Clavio. This is what it looks like. But Clavio, so I just love Clavio because as soon as you go into it, you'll immediately see that they've got templates for all of these flows in here. Post purchase flows, um, customer win backs, like all of these, all of these things. And then if you go to create flow, you will see it. So let's say you want to create a welcome series. Um, this is testing flow, testing flow. So the, the, these are actually what our email marketing team has been creating for our clients and then copying them into others. But you can just go to create flow and you'll see tons, there's tons and tons and tons of flows here that you can actually work off of to start, uh, to start getting people back in the email service. Okay, so for example, welcome series, boom. You could actually go ahead, create the flow off of these templates and it'll immediately have a nice little um, a nice little thing here so you see there's a conditional split so if they've placed an order they beam down but otherwise thanks for subscribing follow us on social media etc etc and there's a ton of resources directly from Clavio okay so that's uh, that's what the welcome series might look like for example Okay, so let's say that we want to do our post purchase or browse abandonment, abandoned cart. They're all here, which is so great. And you see how they have the little Shopify tag here. That means that it's directly talking to Shopify. So these, these integrations are amazing because when you're actually going through, if we pick abandoned cart here, Shopify integration enabled, you can actually set it up so that it knows when someone check, uh, started a checkout. There's no like manual weirdo-ness that you have to do with Zapier or like awkward like setups to like beam information back and forth. Clavio and Shopify talk to each other really tightly. So when someone starts a checkout and doesn't finish, they're immediately going in here. And we don't have to do anything. And they'll go right into this sequence. And you can tweak this however you want. You could easily go to edit and you'll see this here. And that's all there is to it, right? So it's extremely powerful. So when you're all said and done, you've set up these five flows here in your store, and that allows you to basically always be doing something with the people that come to your store. That traffic is not in vain. All of that traffic becomes valuable. Now I said that I would have a tip at the end, and here is that tip. The tip is to use Facebook custom audiences automatically created by Clavio to be able to uh, retarget these people. So obviously when people come to our website, it used to be super, super easy to retarget those visitors on Facebook. Now not so easy with iOS 14 and the new changes that we're seeing. So we need to get a little bit fancier. Okay, so we're gonna go to integrations and we're gonna set up the Facebook advertising integration. And when we're in here, we're now able to set up, and you see that I have set this up already, my the ad account for Guide Social, Facebook custom audiences, all email subscribers, blah, 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 blah. So this is already set up in my store. And what it's going to do is that when I create segments, so if we go to my list and segments here, when I, I can create segments of people that will automatically turn in to Facebook custom audiences. That is the cool thing. So you can actually retarget those people. And so it doesn't have to be just be all email subscribers. This is like the most basic ways that you can upload all your email subscribers to Facebook ads and then retarget them with specific ads. Sure, but you can do so much more than that. You could put all of your welcome series people in one specific retargeting campaign because then you can send them more cold audience -y type stuff and introduction -y stuff. Then you can put the browse abandonment people in another custom audience. So then it can automatically update those people and you get into this situation where you can then hit them on email you can hit them on facebook all of these things work together so that you can retarget people in the correct way so wherever you're buying traffic from whether it's facebook or somewhere else maybe it's seo you don't lose those people you can actually move them down the funnel more effectively that's why clavio and these email marketing tools are so much more than just email marketing tools they actually act as CRMs that manage every single potential client, including potential customers, and serve them the perfect message at the perfect time. Here's a couple other videos that show you how to do this, re retargeting in 2021, and what video ads you can use in Facebook ads in 2021 to really get ahead of the game. We'll see you in the next video.